Cool. Welcome to the UMass Hockey Pre-Show. I am your host, Colin McCarthy, alongside Kayla Gregoire and Matt Skillings. We're here today previewing UMass's first matchup against BU of the weekend. Uh, in UMass's last series, they lost both games to Providence, 7-4 and then 4-3 in overtime. Kayla, what would you make of that series? I think my biggest takeaway was how big the freshmen were contributing. They were most of the goals, and I think they definitely were still showing that inexperience, but they were definitely still contributing. And if they can get rid of that inexperience, they can definitely be the contributors in BU. Anything to add there? Uh, the biggest thing I saw was that they just didn't play a full 60 minutes either night. Uh, the first night they gave up a bunch of goals in the first two periods, and they fought back a little bit in the, uh, the third period. And then Saturday night they really just gave away the lead uh, in the third period in overtime. So. They play a full 60 minutes, they'll uh, come out on top tonight. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. And I think that uh, the last thing that I would add is I think Luke Pavisic uh, sort of extended his uh, sort of lead in the goaltending that situation. I think he looked a lot better than Cole Brady that weekend. Uh, but Kayla, what's the lineup looking like tonight? There are some changes to the lineup with Eric Faith moving into the top line as a center. And the fourth line looks a little different with Michael Cameron as the left wing, Josh Nodler as center, and Ryan Sullivan on that right. Defense is staying the same with uh, extra four would be Matt Koopman and also Jerry Harding and Aaron Bollinger of the lineup. And then goaltender Luke Pavisic will be starting. Absolutely. And uh, Matt, uh, who sort of stands out to you tonight? Uh, a big player tonight is going to be Cal Keefuke. He is back on the top line with Eric Faith and Reed Webster. Uh, Coach Carville has talked a lot about how Cal is very valuable to this team. Uh, he even dressed him in a Merrimack game when he was still uh, dealing with some lingering injuries. Um, but he, he's just a valuable part of the lineup. Uh, he has seven points in seven games, and I think he's gonna be a huge factor tonight. Uh, and these are two teams that have played each other really evenly matched uh, over the last 10 games. UMass is three, five, and two against BU, but they haven't won against BU since 2019. They're 0 4 and one in their last five games. Uh, the goal scoring has been down the middle over these last 10, it's been 35 to 35. Uh, of course, all of that's sort of irrelevant now because Jay Pandolfo is the new head coach, and uh, we don't know what BU's gonna look like. So it should be a really interesting uh, challenge for both BU and UMass. It's a bit more of a feeling out process. It's going to feel a bit more like the Denver and Union series than uh, these Merrimack and Providence series have. Uh, but I'm definitely interested to see what's going to happen there tonight. But with that in mind, let's get our game predictions out of the way. Kayla, how do you think this game's going to go? I say UMass wins 3-2 to two in regulation. I think they're desperate for a win and that they, it will be a close game, but they'll come out with the win in the end. I agree. I'm actually going to say 3-2 in overtime UMass takes it. I don't see them losing four games in a row, even though they haven't beaten BU in a while. Uh, I think that they get that win tonight. Yeah, I'm going to echo what Kayla said. They're, they have a lot of desperation coming off of three straight losses at this point. Um, I think we're going to win 5-3. to three. But that's all for the UMass pre-show. For myself, Colin McCarthy, Kayla McGuire, and Matt Skillings, uh, thanks so much for tuning in.